Hi everyone and welcome. I'm going to go through how I make a 12 month plan for my business and how you can do it too. And how once you do this and, and, and sit and think about the process, it really becomes so much easier of what content you can be posting on social media. And this applies to you can drop it in your personal profile, put it on your business page and on Instagram as well. And definitely in your customer groups. I personally always use my business page and I drop maybe just one of these onto my personal profile. Um, so it's not too spammy and in, in, in all my friends face. You don't want that. And it's the same for even in your groups. Your groups don't want to be sold to every single day. And that's why you've got to think of this as a bit like a tree. So if you think of this as like the tree and your product is, you're going to break it down into 12 months. So you've got 12 branches. And then on each branch, you have another four little twiglets coming off. And this is exactly what we're going to do into putting a plan together. Right. So I'm going to go through a simple 12 month plan. Then I'm going to talk a little bit more about it and how you can start to think about products and what you can add to it. So break down, you've got 12 branches. Now think about the products that you sell. What, 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 you know, products does your company sell? Do you have something for the body? Do you have something for the home? Do you have something for children? Then that is one branch. Then you're going to break it down to find four products or four uh, issues that people maybe have concerns with. So let's say month one, we are going to talk about the face and we're going to have four branches. One's going to be eyes, one's going to be foundation, one is going to be eyebrows and the other's going to be lips. So all week we are going to talk about eyes. Now we are not just going to say, right, you need to be trying this eyeshadow because it's amazing. You are going to be saying, do you know on a scale of one to, you know, it's, 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 you ask questions because you want people to engage. And when people are engaging, you're engaging, you're creating a conversation and the algorithm are going to love that and you're going to be seen to be somebody with an account that is posting valuable content and that's exactly what you should be doing anyway it's got to be valuable it's got to be um you've got to be seen to be giving people value and then you will be rewarded by facebook is going to push your post higher so you could be talking about eyes all week but then suddenly you could talk about your opportunity they are still going to put your post higher because you've been delivering value all week. And I always refer to um, Gary Vaynerchuk's Jab, 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 Right Hook on everything I do. Ever since I read that book, it's just been a total eye opener for my social media and content creation. Every single post is a jab. And then on your weekend, that's your right hook. That's your total go for it, go live, do a demonstration, talk about prices, talk about your company, talk about your product, anything goes on your right hook day. But until then, it's a jab, 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 jab. You're just jabbing all week. You're planting seeds. Right, let's go back to the plan. Right, so the example was eyes for week one. You're going to talk about eyes all week. So you could say, um, on a scale of one to 10, how confident are you at um, creating a smoky eye look? Get people to either put one, meaning, you know, really not confident, to 10, super confident. And that's brilliant because then you can elaborate that on the conversation. Then another one. Um, you know, what colour are your eyes? Blue, green, brown, hazel. And they're always doing A, B, C or D because people have not got time to, to, to type the answer. They just want to give you an A, B, C or D. And I've seen it happen a few times. Brilliant content, brilliant, you know, did you know that you do this with your nail varnish? So tell me, what do you do with your nail varnish? Nobody's got time to tell you. But if you say, do you A, B, C or D, they are going to respond to, to that because it's nice and quick. So always, every single time you do a post, have a question, either an A, B, C or D, or on a scale of 1 to 10, how confident are you at? Or on a scale of 1 to 10, um, what's your thoughts on you want people to be engaging in that comment box. Then you can go back, start conversation. Right, month one, week one, eyes. Week two, foundation. So what you could say on this one, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Monday could be, do you know how to, you know, on a scale of one to 10, how confident are you, are you at choosing the right foundation color? So many people don't know how to test foundation. And on Friday, you can go live and show them how to demonstrate 
surface by just putting you know a line of foundation on a jawline that's really wrong your, your wrong shade and then put a line that's your right shade and blend it in and if it vanishes it's perfect that is the perfect color then you want to be doing some memes some funnies you only want to be really doing two posts a day maximum a.m. I like to do about seven o'clock in the morning when people are lying in bed scrolling because that's exactly what I do. So I'm going to see posts at seven o'clock in the morning and then possibly eight o'clock at night when the kids are in bed, your feet are up and you're ready just to sit down and chill out. So two posts a day maximum, but make sure they have value. You've got a question, you've got a meme, you can do a funny, you can do a tip. You can go onto Google, find some information. And um, this is where you're going to find all your answers. You're either going to find them in your company brochure or and on Google as well. So make sure you were doing that and you've got to spend some time at doing this. But once you've done it, save everything. Like I've got so many documents saved in, in Word. And then if I want to do an aloe vera week, I've got all the content there. It's ready. I've already done it maybe, you know, I don't know, three months ago. So I've still got that content. So I'm just going to copy and paste it over. So it, it's, it's a bit faffy at first, but once you've done it, you've done it. And, and that's what it's about. It's about long term. Okay, let's back to the plan. So month one, was the face week one we're going to talk about eyes week two we're going to talk about foundation week three we're going to talk about eyebrows and week four we're going to talk about lips one two let's talk about the body so we can talk about the feet we can talk about um the body we can talk about hair we can talk about skincare you know aloe vera and all week you would do an image of an aloe vera plant. Do you know the health benefits of aloe vera? On a scale of one to 10, how confident are you at um, you know, understanding the health benefits of aloe vera? And you know, one being you know, clueless to 10 being, I'm you know, Mrs. Aloe vera. This is what you want people to be commenting on. Okay, month three, skincare. We're gonna talk all month about skincare. So week one, Let's talk about teenagers and their skincare issues because you have got products that can help them. You've got supplements, you've got facial washes, you've got, you know, oils, lotions, potions, but you are not going to say, buy this product. It's this, that, and the other. You do not say that all week. You never mention your company name. You never mention the prices. You don't even mention the product. You want people to be asking you because you are giving them a service. You are helping them. You're not selling to them. The only day you sell is when you choose to do your offer, which is on the weekend. And that's when you can talk about the names, everything. But until then, jab, 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 jab. Create the interest. Okay, so month three was skincare. Week one, teenager. Week two, age 20. Age, um, week three, age 40. Week four is age 50 because you have got products that can help people throughout all these ages. On a scale of one to 10, if you are age 40 and over, um are you you know totally do you you know i don't know you could say it's about how many times do you cleanse or moisturize or you know do you have a, a skincare routine you want to be asking these types of questions month four let's talk about vitamins and health so week one vitamins for him week two for her for three week three age 50 plus and you've got teenagers in the last week. Again, you're going to be talking about the benefits of copper, iron, um, rose hips, anything that the ingredients are in your supplements, study them. Go on Google, study the benefits of, you know, lemon oils, study the benefits of ylang ylang and really learn it and then ask questions. Did you know, you know, the benefits of this? Did you know that this product's got 13 essential oils in? And you want to get big, big, getting people thinking, oh, no, I didn't know that. And, oh, my God, that's really good. Then by the weekend, you've planted that many seeds throughout the week, the benefits, the, you know, the trips, the hit, trips and the hicks, the hints, the, the tricks and everything like that. Then when it comes to you talking about the actual product on a weekend, they're going to be like, oh, my God, I need that product. And she's doing it on an offer as well. I need it because it's really going to help me because I've suffered with this, 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 this and this that she's mentioned all week. That's what you want to be doing. Month five, detoxing. We're going to, all month, we're going to talk about detoxing. Now, you can plan these months with days of the year as well. So if it's like, um, I don't know, red lip day, make sure you're talking about lips that week. Detoxing. You could do this probably in January. You could talk about detoxing because people will have had such a heavy Christmas. They need to detox. So you can talk about detoxing or in December itself. So you're planting seeds to people to start to detox.
Um, so we're talking about detoxing. So you can talk about week one, tea and coffee. You've got week two in the balance. Week three, you can talk about skincare um, and the B glucan. And also you can talk about a range that actually detoxes your skin from the inside to the outside. So you can talk about a certain product range there as well. Month six, let's talk about children. All month, we're going to talk about kids and people love talking about kids. So week one, vitamins and the health. Week two, perfume and makeup. Week three, skincare. And then week four, sun care. Month seven, let's talk about fragrances all month. Fragrance oils, manufacturing. Week three could be his and hers. And week four could be about the home. So think about ironing liquids, laundry liquids, all these amazing products that we do have that is really overlooked because they are amazing. So there's still fragrances, you've got candles, you've got so much you can talk about in that week. Um, and just talk about the ingredients on a scale of one to 10, did you know this? Or uh, how often do you you know, burn a candle? Is it A, once a week, B, twice a week? Or every single night or only on a weekend? Do you have pets? This is what you wanna be getting the conversation started. And then you would say, on a scale of one to 10, how? How much do you like light, lighting candles to get rid of pet odour? Then you can start to ask them questions about it. Month eight, we're going to talk about the nails. So you can talk about week one, hand cream. Week two, nail vitamins. Week three, nail colours. And week four, weddings. So you could plan this, this nail week, month, into probably April, May time when people are starting to think about wedding. So are you wearing, you know, yellow for a wedding? What colour nails would you wear? And do some images all week, this or that. You know, somebody with, you could do it, you know, put a dress on. And if you're a man, hell, go for it. But put, you know, yellow nails, blue nails, which, which, which colour should I wear? And this is what's going to be getting people seeing the products without you telling them about the products. And that's what it's all about. Okay, so then we're gonna talk about skincare. So week one, oily, week two, dry, week three, combination, week four, acne. You wanna be talking about, um, at the moment, what is your current issue with your skin? Is it A, oily, is it B, dry, is it C, combination, or is it D, acne? And then people are going to come back to you, you know, maybe oily. And then you're going to start in the conversation. Okay, so you've got oily skin. Have you tried anything that, that helps it? No, I haven't. You could say, well, have you tried this essential oil? And give them a link off Google, you know, and, and this is you helping them. You're not selling your product to them. You're doing that at the weekend. But you want to be building up, um, planting these seeds, jab, jab, jabbing, so they're starting to understand a little bit more about their own problem, the issues, how they can prevent it, talk about cleansing, double cleansing on an evening. These are the things that you need to be giving as your hints and your, your tips. Month 10, we're going to talk about the home. So week one could be the living room, week two could be the kitchen, week three, bathroom, and then you've got outdoors um, for the last one. Again, you want to be talking about this one in the weather, where maybe spring cleaning, the, the wiping down the plastic in the windows, the patio furniture, because we have got products that can help with all of that. Month 11, we've got weight loss. So we've got healthy diet, drinking, week three, exercise, week four, motivation, because that is the biggest issue is motivation. I know how hard it is to get motivated to get off your backside and go to the gym. I didn't do anything for about four or five months since um, when we come back from the Maldives. And it was like, oh my God, you know, I was putting weight on and I knew I had to do something about it. So if you're planting seeds, talking about health, talking about, you know, going to the gym, starting a gym class, it's not all, only for your health benefits, but you make so many friends as well. And finally, we've got month 12. And this is what I would probably do um, in December time when Pantone bring out their um, colors for the seasons and the year ahead. So we've got week one, nails, week two, eyes, week three, six, fragrance and week four could be home colors so you can talk about colors so if you are talking about um you know eye eye colors and eye shadows what nail varnish are they going to wear to match that ask them a question do you know what color looks best with this help me out i don't know you want to be doing lots of selfies and asking friends who are on your business page in your groups and your personal profile for advice 
you know, they're then maybe going to say, oh my God, that nail colour is absolutely actually amazing. Tell me a bit more about that nail colour. And that's, you're not, you, you, this is the biggest problem that people do is, oh, look at my nails, aren't they brilliant? This is called X, you know, this is my passionate love and it's, you know, $8.99 or whatever. And it's totally spammy. So break it down, 12 months of the tree, then you've got your four little twigs, and then you've got your little branches that are coming off that, which is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What are you going to talk about? What hint? What have you found on Google? What research have you done? Have you wrote a note on Facebook? Go and have a look at my business page and look at my notes sections because I tie in my notes with a weekly theme. So on Thursday, I would share a bumper note that I'd created, which is like a blog post. And then I can reshare that forever and ever and ever. And if ever, anybody ever talks about, I don't know, barley grass, I can say, well, I've got a brilliant article I've wrote on that. And I'll give them the link to my um, note. And then that's getting people back over to my business page as well. So you've got to think about the funnels that you are creating. Now, another example, I'm going to talk about highlighters. So Monday morning, you are going to do a post, you know, what sharing you know it could be sharing a highlighter or something what's amazing about it how do you use it why is this one special um and how can you stand how does it stand out from others and then you could say talk about the benefits of highlighters why people should be using highlighters do a meme you know we've all seen there's so many on google and pinterest use them and then you're going to talk about another day what ways can you use it so you can use it you know can you use it as part of a concealer can you use it as a bronzer to highlight blusher you know and make your, your blushes to highlight because there's different shades in highlighters as well and then do you know an engagement do you use it i don't use highlighters because i don't really need to i don't want to but my daughter uses it all the time it's just different ages um so do some you know questions like that do you think you're too old to use highlighter because many people are going to say yes i do well you can flip that around and say well no you don't you know look at me and you should do a demonstration a live demo doing it i think that's that's another thing as well is people don't know how to apply it's the same with contouring and doing eyeshadow and what i find a lot of people don't understand is how to put you know, eyebrow pencil on. So I always like to do a demonstration how to do it the, the proper way. So it helps people, then you're giving them some amazing value. Um, another question that you could do um, would be, you know, days of the year. Always look at the days of the years as well. Um, and talk about, you've got to talk about the benefits and, you know, who wore it better, this or that. Um, and to end you, your week with a 24 hour flash sale or it could be by the one that I would do with the coffee would be buy two metabolism coffee get a free cafetiere cafetieres only cost four quid in Asda to what you're going to get you're going to get repeat custom because once, once people start using this metabolism coffee and it really you know can help them losing weight and because it really just fill you up as well you've just spent four quid on helping somebody it, it, it's a no-brainer really you've got to think about the bigger picture on these things too so i hope that's helped and i hope that's that's give a little bit more clarity on how to break down the 12 months into the four um topics that you're covering and then break it down further for every single day jab 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 right hook just you know totally sell it but until then, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever, you could go live on a Friday, which is what I would like to do, is that is the only day that you're allowed to mention the name of the company, the product, and the pricing. Apart from that, you are giving value and funnies and just entertainment all week about the product. So there we go. I hope you found that interesting, like I say. And any questions, feel free to drop it. You know, you know, drop me a message at any time. Come find me on my business page um, or over on Instagram. I'm everywhere. Um, and let me know how it goes for you because I think it's going to be amazing. See you all again soon.